How's it going today, guys? Today I'm here with Deputy Lindsay Applegate, and she is with the Mounted Patrol Unit, right? Yes. So tell me a little bit about what you do. Every day we work with horses as they're usually like our patrol cars. We'll come in every day. We have a mount, which is the horse. They're our partners. We take them out every day that we're here. We take them out into the community. We do lots of programs with kids. We do searches and rescues for missing people. We do all kinds of things with the sheriff. Mm -hmm. We do parades. We do public events. We go on proactive patrols through the community. Um, pretty much anything that a deputy in a patrol car can do, we do with the horses. Okay. Now, well, did you always want to be in law enforcement uh, when you were younger? Or? Yes, I had a family member that was in law enforcement, so um, the natural progression, I went to college, and then after college, I did an internship with the sheriff's office okay. to where I found out that we had a mounted patrol unit, mm -hmm. and I have a background riding. I've been riding since I was like three years old. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, one thing led to another, and I was led to job shadow here. Now, did you always need to have the um, experience with horses to be in this unit, or could you just walk right in and kind of jump in there? It's not mandatory to have horse experience. Okay. Um, three of us did, but it's not a mandatory requirement. You can always come and job shadow with us, and we can teach you what we do. Okay. So um, not everybody has prior horse experience. Now, do you have to have, like, before you get with the um, patrol unit with the horses, do you have to work, like, you know, like in the regular sheriff's car or in the office or whatnot? How does that work? Yes, uh, you go to police academy and okay. then you get your law enforcement certification. After that, you do a couple years of your probationary period on patrol, riding around in a car, mm -hmm. answering calls for service from citizens. And then after two years with us, you're allowed to job shadow or cross train with a specialized unit. It's a very unique unit. Not a lot of people know about it, which is why I would say if anybody wants to get involved in a specialized unit with their agency, they should definitely take advantage of their human resources division that okay. can go and take you on a career path. Lots of units in this agency people have no idea are even existing. Okay. Now, what would you say are some of the differences with having a horse as your, your way to get around versus a, a car? We're about 10 feet off the ground when we're riding on the street. Mm -hmm. So in a deputy in a patrol car can only see from their vehicle, whereas we can take the horses into the woods, we can take them on the street, we can take them on the sidewalks, and anywhere that pretty much the cars can't go, we can. Okay. What would you say would have to be maybe one of the most difficult parts of your job? You definitely have to bring your patience with you every day mm -hmm. because having an animal, a horse, as your partner every day, you know, they want to act like kids a lot, so you have to be patient with them and work with them. Luckily, all of us have our horses that we get along with better than others, mm -hmm. so you form a bond. So other than that, I would say just bringing your patience with you. What are some of your daily chores that you have to deal with dealing with the uh, horses and with your job as well? Uh, we have to be out in all kinds of different weather, as you can see. You know, we're out in the extreme heat, we're out in the cold, mm -hmm. we're out in the rain sometimes. The flies, the, the flies uh, <laughs> you know, just depending on the situation and where they want us for the day. Um, you have to deal with wearing, you know, this uniform all the time and, you know, riding a horse with 40, 50 pounds of gear on them. And then it's just, it's, it's a lot. On a daily basis, we come in and we take care of our horses for the day. You know, we make sure they're fed. We make sure they have their water. We'll groom them and get them ready for patrol and saddle them. And then we all have trucks and trailers that we'll take them out into the county and we'll ride them where we need to take them for the day. Okay. Now, if somebody wanted to follow in your footsteps and maybe get on this patrol, mm -hmm. what would they do to get prepared now to um, prepare themselves? Uh, definitely bring your patience and perseverance pays off because after doing a few years of probation on patrol, then you would need to come and job shadow with us and do some riding time and go on patrol with us, see what we do, see if you like it. Because people that don't have any riding experience come in sometimes and realize that maybe it's not for them. but. For us and everybody that's cross-trained so far, they think it's a phenomenal experience and just don't give up on what you want to do. All right. Well, like you were telling me a little bit about your horse yourself. Do you mind if we meet your horse? Sure. This is Major. Okay. And how old is Major? He's 10. 10. He's a thoroughbred, and he was, he's an ex-race horse. Oh, okay. He came from the racetrack when he was four. Now, what made him stand out to you that got you guys bonding? I like his personality, even though, you know, all these horses have such different personalities and things to offer the unit. He is... Um, He's spunky, I'll say. Yeah. So um, he just, he's always uh, a surprise, we'll say. Well, thank you so much, Lindsay, for taking time to oh, speak with me. Yeah. I've learned a lot, so keep up the good work. Thank you and thank very you, much. thank you, Major, Major, thanks. <laughs> Not paying attention to me, though, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, now he is. <laughs> Not all police or sheriff's departments have mounted units, so the competition to get a job can be fierce. Even though usually only a high school diploma is required, getting an associate's or bachelor's degree can give those interested in joining the Mounted Patrol a competitive edge. Training for this position can last anywhere from three to six months.
It is comprised of courses in horsemanship, physiology, equine behavior, and equine anatomy. It also includes advanced crowd control techniques and search and rescue training. If you're a horse lover and want a job in law enforcement, I can't think of a much better job.